Thank you for installing Mixcraft. After installing, one of the most important things that you can do is to make sure that your sound card or sound system is set up properly. If it's not set up properly, you might have something called latency, or you might also have something called audio gapping or stuttering. If you are just mixing loops and recording your voice, you will want to err on the side of having a larger latency. However, if you are monitoring your recordings or recording virtual instruments, you will want the latency as low as possible. Watch this quick video to see how to set up your system for optimum performance. Okay, when you start the software for the first time, it plays the demo song. Listen to the demo song or click the stop button. The first option is to go to Preferences by clicking File menu followed by Preferences. Click on the Sound Device tab section and you will see a similar page as this on your computer. If you're on Vista, you will also have the Wave RT option available. By default, most people will be using the Wave driver. This is the oldest and most troublesome for performance, but it is also the most stable driver type, which is why it is the default. If you have an ASIO option available, click ASIO. Choose the appropriate ASIO device. For example, if you had a professional M-Audio Fast Track Pro or a Line 6 Tone Port, you would select that. Otherwise, choose your sound card's driver. In some cases, you will find that there is more than one. The best idea is to try one at a time in order to find the best performance. Each ASIO mixer is different and is actually created by the sound card or sound device manufacturer. Usually, it will have a drop-down control that lets you adjust the latency, among other things. If you don't have an ASIO option, you should try and adjust the number of buffers, which defaults to 8, and the buffer size of 8192. These two options will both affect the latency in terms of milliseconds. The latency is the delay from when the audio is processed to when it is actually heard. 371 milliseconds is almost half a second, which is bad for recording and virtual instruments, but good if you are just mixing loops and audio. To lower the latency, click the number of buffers and choose a lower number such as 3. Notice that the latency is now at 139 milliseconds. This is better, but it still sounds like there is an echo when monitoring. To test the latency, you can either use your MIDI keyboard with a virtual instrument track, or you can set up a microphone and then monitor the track. To monitor the track, click the arm button, and then click on the arrow next to it and select Monitor Incoming Audio. Make sure to use headphones or you will get feedback from the speakers. First, you'll need to select the correct audio device. In this case, mine is the Sound Blaster Auto G2 ZS. Now I'm going to select the Monitor Incoming Audio option. You'll see a delay warning that says that your latency is probably going to be intolerable and also to use headphones. Make sure to use headphones or you will get feedback from the speakers. If you aren't satisfied with the latency, go back into the preferences and lower the buffer size to 2048 or 4096. Notice now that the latency for 2048 is 34 milliseconds, which is pretty, pretty low. Keep playing around with the settings until you arrive at the optimal balance between latency and gapping. Some other tips include buy a professional sound device such as M-Audio Fast Track Pro or the Line 6 Tone Port. Always make sure to have the latest drivers for your sound device in order to get the best performance and quality in your recordings. Visit the website for your sound device or sound card to install the latest drivers. Even if you just purchased the device, it is very likely that the included drivers are out of date already. Turn off all other programs, including mail programs and even virus checkers. 
Make sure to turn the virus checker back on before going onto the internet, of course. Check the Windows Task Manager to see what programs are using lots of memory or CPU usage. On XP and Vista, you can bring up the Task Manager by pressing Control, Alt, Delete. Add more RAM to your computer and defrag your hard drive. Or just get a faster hard drive. Hopefully, this tutorial will help to get your sound card or sound device set up properly with Mixcraft. Thanks.